from one of my favorite Martin episodes, Mr. Varnell here. Did you miss me? Welcome back to all of my Jam Stars! What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. And today, we are bringing to you our BBWs. So, first on the list is Mr. Cara Jones. If you don't know who she is, she's one of um, America's... Um, uh, America's top model. top model. Yes, and she had one episode. Takara is beautiful. To me, she reminds me of a beautiful, like, porcelain doll. Like, it's just something about her, her face. Like, just absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Next on the list, we have Mr. Miss yeah. Jill Scott. Is it the way you love yeah. me, baby? But Anyway, so we pick between Takara Jones and Jill Scott. So let me know who you with. Are you with Takara Jones or Jill Scott? And I hope you're not with Jill Scott because of this. Don't do it, Jill! Don't do it! <laughs> ah! Get out my seat! Drop it in the comments, please! Get out my seat, man! Come on, man. Hey, look, man. Hey, y'all already know. First off, y'all know why we're going with Jill Scott, and it is because of that, right? But anyway, let me uh, let me let y'all y'all let me know down in the comments which one y'all going with, man. Takara Jones, Jill Scott, whatever, man. Anyway, a lot to talk about. A little bit of time to get into it, and uh, we just gonna get right into it, man. Listen, hope you guys had a wonderful day. Y'all smash the like button. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes today. Um, I think. Let me fix this mic real quick. Uh, some people might have thought that my channel is a glitch video channel or whatever even though I did show you how to get to that glitch video I don't put out glitch videos and I'm gonna show you why I don't put out glitch videos check this out right here from reddit boom can y'all read that can we can we zoom in on that career mode bills files have been corrupted and unable to be loaded the corrupted file will now be overwritten now look at this man dude say um he pretty much lost his my player. Somebody put uh somebody put in the thing, uh-oh, what are your thoughts? Uh somebody said, welcome to this NBA 2K daily business. Nah, brother, you tried to do, you tried to do the glitch, and you lost your my player. I told y'all that glitch yesterday was a no-go. Bro, you had to, you, you gotta, you had to go in and do like and duplicate your my player like a hundred times like like not a hundred times you know five or six times so you had to go in there play a game kill i mean play a game save the game play another game save the game play another game save the game play another game save the game and then you had to load up all of those games over and over and over and then get out of the game like bro it was just too much work and i said something like this was going to happen someone was going to lose their my player does the glitch work of course it works. It's been in the game for the last three or four years. People were using that glitch last year. Um, you know, I had a, I had one of my guys that I knew that that's all he would do. Like he he played and he played for some uh, not not WR, but he played in some of the competitive leagues and stuff. And that's what he, that was his job. They would be like, "Yo, go out there, make a player, and do your thing." Oh yeah, Rip City shirt will be in the uh, real will be in the shop today. It's gonna be like twelve bucks, ten ten bucks, twelve bucks. But I gotta put it through a few wash tests. We will put it in hoodies. and We are gonna put it in everything, slim fit, dry fit, all that. I just got to perfect the uh, the whole deal because I don't want y'all to get a shirt and then be like, "Damn, it, it faded the first day." I don't want that to happen. But anyway. I told you that something like this would happen. You run the risk of corrupting your character when you load that many game saves over and over and over and over and over. You got 100 game saves, you putting them on your computer, you're putting them on the USB, then putting them on your computer, then you're loading it back to the USB, doing all that stuff, man, offloading, off, onloading, offloading, onloading, two different operating systems and all of that. There's gonna be some corrupt data somewhere, and boom, here it is. Fortunately, in a situation like this, if you backed your my player up to the cloud, you'll be able to get him back. But I'm telling you, you run the risk of this. Do not do that glitch, man, unless you're ready, unless you're ready to deal with the consequences, bro, because this right here, <laughs> Hey, it is what it is. But like I said, do it at your own risk. Um, Y'all know how to find the video, man. It, it is what it is. I'm not going to promote a glitch. I'm here to tell you guys not to do it because you definitely run the risk of doing this. And like I said, hey, this is a person that didn't know what they were doing. Um, 
And, you know, they, they potentially lost their my player if they didn't back their my player up from the outset. That's what's going to happen to you. But hopefully you guys don't do it. Like I said, it's the same thing every year. They never get rid of this stuff. And uh, they probably won't get rid of this one. So this one is probably going to stick all year because it's just way too much for most people. Most people in my comments was like, bro, that's way too much for me to do. I mean, it, it's way too much to play a game, file out it, not, not file out it, then play a game down to the last little bit, save the game. Then transfer that to your to your thumb drive, and then put that on your desktop. Rename that game, and then play another game. Save that game. Transfer it to the thumb drive. Rename it. Play another game. Transfer it to the thumb drive. Rename it on your desktop. Now you got like five or six games, and then to continue to to reload those games in, and then do like, come on, man, ain't nobody doing that, man. But it is what it is, man. But like I said, if you do this, this is the, this is the risk you run. So I would suggest not doing it. And that's why I tell you to. And uh, if you do always back your player up online or on another thumb drive, just, just back it up, man. Anyway, on to our next bit of news, man. Um, I try to protect y'all on this channel, man. That's why I want 2K to get rid of that because if it wasn't a channel like that like mine, you, you wouldn't know how to fix that. But anyway, if you completed the qualifier gameplay, uh, NBA 2K League tweeted, if you completed the qualifier gameplay requirements by November the 10th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the application by November the 15th at 5 p.m. at uh, Eastern, you know, 5 p.m. Eastern time and are still having trouble accessing the combine, email NBA 2K League, uh, what's that, League Ops at NBA.com with the following, your gamer tag, your console, and your current email address. This is for those people we reported on a couple of days. See, we're making a difference in the community, baby. We can we can we reported on this a couple of days ago, and we said some people were having issues with not um with not uh being able to get you know they, they didn't have the tab. They, they 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 did all the requirements, but they couldn't get the tab. It sucks, but hey, this is how you do it. They said if you if you are legit, make sure you're hundred percent legit. Because if you ain't hundred percent legit, they gonna check all the timestamps and stuff, and they, they you might get banned. We already know if you tell two K something, you tell them the truth, you might get banned. So if you tell them a lie, you definitely probably gonna get banned. And then one dude said, "This is so upsetting. I'm unable to join the league." But hey, I don't understand why why y'all needed an audio clip after we after we have. After we have said everything in the application already, why are you guys being redundant? It's whatever. Listen, listen here, my guy. Okay, you are applying to my job. You don't get to choose the manner in which you apply. Okay, that, and this is what Soldier Soldier Omega said. They need a an audio clip to see that you can put words together in a manner in which other people can understand. So they want to make sure that you can talk or that you're able to be coached to be talked. Because if you be like, hey, what's good? my What, what it is? Shout it. What good, my G? Hey, I'm in this motherfucker trying to do it. Like, come on, man. They, 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 you got to be eloquent. You got to be kind of well-spoken or you got to be coachable. Like like my guy Bear. Bear really one of them people that say whatever's on his mind, but he's coachable. So when they put you in front of these events and you become the MVP of the league, and you go to China and you go and speak in these different engagements, they want to make sure that you're coachable so that they can put you in front of somebody and you'll sound like somebody. That's why they need an audio clip, but that doesn't matter because it's their league. They get to run it the way that they want to run it. You don't get to choose that. You don't have to understand. It's not for you to understand. So they will look at something like this and say, why, why are you even asking the question on something like that? And they would be like, yo, this is not somebody we're willing to take on. Nine times out of 10, that's that's what would happen. But hey, I hope this guy Soldier Maker gets in, but I'm just letting you know, that's not a good look. When you're doing something, that's their job. It ain't yours. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's 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 not it's not your job. You're applying to them, so they get to choose. Hey, you know, it is what it is. My guy, my man didn't get his stuff in in time, and uh, he, didn't get to, he didn't get to do the thing, so it is what it is, man. But anyway, Last but not least, what we got on the news front, man. Like I said, this is a short video this morning. We got my guy. We got my guy, All City Live. Now, All City, like I said, he's one of them stars, man. He what he's trying to teach you this uh this this time is uh how to do the explosive hop step. And he said that what he did was he went in and put in the work. Speaking of which, y'all go over there and sub to All City Live, man. If you like informative videos, he's at 8.6 uh 8.6 
2,000. He said he's trying to get to 1,000 by the end of the year, man. So if y'all want to, if y'all interested, if you like people that like the community, love the community, or will play with anybody, and, and you want to learn how to do a lot of things in the game, all city got you, man. But anyway, what he's showing you right here is how to do the explosive hop step. He gives you all three of the things that you need. I'm not going to tell you what all three of the things is. Go watch the video, man. You'll know what all three of them are. I know what all three of them are. I put them on, and my guy's hop stepping and ducking like a, like a G. Well, not in my career, because they don't let you do stuff like that in my career. But y'all get it, man. Go check out All City. He's got an awesome video for you. Uh, check it out, and you'll he, he's got everything on how to do the explosive uh, hop step and if y'all think we should put we should put him together some some of them all city uh headbands i got the gray headbands in my bin and um i got the gray headbands in my bin on amazon so we should do him some all city headbands so he can have the all city live tv cross his forehead y'all let me know and uh last but not least we got the uh question segment of the uh of the show Bree easy do you have some questions that people asked on yesterday okay i have a question for everyone including jay this may trigger some but not the, but that's not the goal why do we care about this game the brand nba 2k i know we all love basketball but it gotta be something else that has us every year coming back willing to put up with a lot and have us raging honestly i'm curious and i would love to hear jay's feedback on this all uh, my feedback on it is, honestly, there's no other good basketball game out there. I don't even know of another basketball game that even almost simulates basketball. Like I said, that all-star basketball on Steam, that's like NBA Street on steroids. Like, it's not even basketball. So, there's no other viable basketball game is really what it is. Um, if there were, trust me, we'd be playing it. And when NBA Live does come out, that mocap, bro, NBA Live just needs to get the mocap right, bro. You cannot have a game where your competitor has uh, like okay so nba live does everything right the art team the lighting the parks everything the menus awesome everything the nba live does is great the 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 the, the way that you progress your player obviously that's great because 2k stole that uh, every 2k stole everything but from from live even the dribbling system the total control dribbling system they stole that from live on now right when mike wong came over to 2k um they they took that where you dribble with the right stick instead of with the left stick like you used to with 2K. You used to have to hit a whole right trigger and, and make moves with the left stick, but now you 2K, uh, Live was ahead of them with that. But Live never caught up with the mocap, and that's what kills it. It's like she's it's like she got a nice personality. She got a great job. She's a great, a great soul, but she don't look good. You know what I'm talking about? Great body, but I, I just can't get fast that face. Is she cute? No. Nah. No, she's not cute. And that's the problem. If she was cute, then it would be cool. You could deal with it. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you just it's just like a girl that got everything going for her. Or a guy if you're a girl, or you know, if you're into that, not that there's anything wrong with it. But if you're it's just like choosing a partner and you can't get past the physical appearance of of that person. Like eventually you might be able to get past that and be like well if you're with somebody even if you chose them for physical reasons you're with them and you got past all that in the beginning because like obviously after you're married for as long as me and my wife been married it's not about the physical anymore even like, though yeah, it, it is ain't. exactly even though it is <laughs> but it ain't but y'all get what i'm saying it becomes less about that and more about can i depend on the person right. live you're not my partner though it's about your appearance. So so maybe a lot of people that get in the live, they say, well, once you get past that part, you're good. But see, the thing is, your competition, it's got the, 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 the physical right off the bat. And that's what people are most attracted to in a video game. It's not a person, it's a video game. So if that's live can... If that's li a good analogy. Yeah, if live can just get their mocap together, live will blow NBA 2K away. Because everything else with live is awesome. It's just, we just can't get past the mocap. But okay, go ahead. this is statement. Uh, from um, Cuddy233. They need to make badge progression faster so these badge glitches won't be so relevant. Nobody who plays part primarily wants to sit in my career all day just to get some badges. Big facts. Last year, I think they nailed the badge progression. You could go into my career and get your badges, or you could go to the park and get your badges, but it was quick either way. A lot of people elected to just get their badges in the park. I got a lot of my badges in the park, but it would take you two or three days to get your badges in the park. it take you about 10 hours to get them in my career. The badge progression last year, I think, was good, but this year, they, you got to choose your badge points, so I think they wanted to make the badge progression a little bit more 
a key, a focal point on the game. I agree with you. It should be faster, especially at this point. They should accelerate it, especially in time for Christmas because people get in the game for Christmas, they want to just go play. Ain't nobody trying to sit in my career all day. Even though I probably played about 10 or 12 my career games last night, everybody doesn't enjoy it like I do. Now, if you want a my career series, y'all let me know. This Rip City T is freaking clean. Last God. Time, Jay. B. Boston, how you feel about Carmelo finally getting a job, my brother? The shirts fired too, and I think too, 2K20 cut their service down to make their parts look fuller because everybody's paying three versus three already. That is definitely correct. They did cut the parts down, or they or they just fixed the algorithm that fills the part. So maybe they, maybe instead of making the part be full. At like like it, it had a maximum of 60 players right and then they, they were looked at as almost full at like 30 so they wouldn't put more people in there um unless you were like joining friends and stuff but now they let it fill all the way up to 80 and then 60 is looked at as semi full so that's all it is they just cut it down and then uh yeah a lot of people are in wreck and a lot of people are in the other thing but this shirt is so clean uh and by mellow man Man, I'm glad for Melo. Melo, y'all, if y'all ever watched my Twitter, I put out a tweet a couple of years ago said nobody does it better. Nobody's gotten more tools in his tool box. I'm not saying that Melo's the greatest scorer of all time or, or the greatest scorer in the NBA at that time, but I was like, nobody has more ways to beat you than Carmelo Anthony. I'm not talking about efficiency. I'm talking about shoot the three, shoot the mid-range, one-step pull-up, catch and shoot, uh, post up, go to the rim, Take you off the dribble. All that. Nobody had more ways to beat you than Carmelo Anthony. That was before LeBron could shoot. LeBron really couldn't shoot back then. He really can't shoot. He, shooting is not his first thing now. But when LeBron is hitting that three, you already lost the game. You just waiting on the final score. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Um, I'm I'm, I'm excited for Melo to be back. I feel like he needed a job, and we made this this shirt in honor of him. Ripped City, baby. Hey, like, we want to go to the gym. We want to get ripped. And instead of Rip City, it's Ripped City. Hey, we got this in the store. It's going to be in the store today, man. I got I just got to pass my watch test and make sure that I can send it out there to y'all. But once it does, we good. Or I just have to find some better material to do this side of. Anyway, that's it, man. Like I said, like my wife said, man, check it out. Takara Jones or Jill Scott. I say Takara Jones or Jill Scott. Y'all let me know who y'all got down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Hey, y'all really crushed that like button yesterday. Y'all make sure we do that again today. And for those that think this is a glitch channel or exposed glitch channel, that's not what we are. I'm just trying to protect you guys, man. Y'all make sure y'all uh, govern yourselves accordingly. And if you're going to try some of this chicanery, make sure you back your player up first, man. Because I don't want to see y'all lose, lose your parents $50. Because ain't no grown man going to do all this stuff. It's mostly kids that's going to try that, man. So, you know... Um, it is what it is. But I, right, I'm gone. Gotta speak!